the screen is white. That AMOLED display is just amazing. Um, I'm gonna, ooh, is that what it looks like when it's timed out? Okay. Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be doing a unboxing and initial review of the Mobvoi Tick Watch S2. Now this is the winner of the Red Dot Award in 2019. And I'm super excited and pumped to use this watch because this is operated by Wear OS by Google. Now I will be going on vacation here in just a little bit. I will be using this watch primarily for the next seven to 14 days. And I'll come back with my full review of of everything about this watch after that time of usage. So if you are interested beyond this opening or this unboxing of the video, stay tuned for that review. Now this one is stating that it's the best smartwatch for outdoor activities. It does have the US military grade standard of the 810G. It is waterproof up to five ATM, which is five atmosphere, which means 50 meters. Now, some of the other things that it's talking about is that it is uh, using Wear OS by Google. It does have customizable watch faces. It can receive notifications. It uses the Google Assistant and it is able to do music streaming, my guess, through Wi-Fi. Now, inside of the box is gonna be the USB charging dock, the user manual, as well as the watch itself and some other notorieties is going to be waterproof up to 5 ATM, the US standard military certification of 810G, two-day battery life, built-in GPS, heart rate sensor, and the lightweight design. Now, I will be taking off my Gear S3 Classic or the Gear S3 Frontier to actually use this watch right here, and so I'm actually pretty excited to try and check it out. So here is, here is the watch. This is white, definitely a huge fan of the color of white. And the very first time of picking this thing up, this thing is super light. And so I'm pretty excited that it is light and it seems to be very durable. It seems to be something that would be very comfortable to wear. Uh, the watch band is rubber and almost pretty much everything else feels rubber on, on this watch as well. So how about we go ahead, let's take this off. Slide it out. And now let's do a little bit of a size comparison versus the Gear S3, which it'll probably be a little bit better by actually taking off the other watch. So let's say we check this out. So here is the size differences. Uh, this one right over here, the Gear S3, is gonna have two different buttons and a spinning dial. Uh, this one right here does not have a spinning dial. It feels good and it is operating by the one button. So when you press and hold, this is how it'll turn on the watch. Now also inside of the box is going to be a quick little, little uh, starter guide letting you know how to turn on the watch, some of the different settings, some of the different things, and also two different applications to download. Pair Wear OS by Google, and also download the Mob Voy application. So we'll do that here in just a second. Here is another large guide right here. Looks like it starts off in a different language, heading over into English. And so right here, this one does have a 1.4 inch display. It is a round dial. The resolution is 400 by 400 in pixels and the strap width is 22 millimeter which looking at the back of this, it's a standard 22 millimeter strap on the very back, which means that it's fully interchangeable with any other 22 millimeter strap that you have. So if you don't wanna have this lightweight rubber uh, you know, wrist band, you are able to change that out. Some of the other information you guys would be looking for is that it is a 1.4 inch round screen using AMOLED display. So it will be bright in the sunlight. The, the processor is the Snapdragon Wear 2100. The memory is 512 megabytes RAM with the four gigs of ROM of internal storage. The Bluetooth is 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth. So it is version 4.1. And really that's probably all that we would need to know other than the battery size, which is 415 milliamp. So when you look at everything that this watch is giving you, it's very comparable to really any other smartwatch out there, uh, but with a completely different design. So here we go, let's tap to begin. What else do we got? So now this is where we choose our language, it looks like. So let's go through and let's find English for United States. Keeping your trust by protecting your personal information. Okay, I read all of that. <laughs> On your phone, download and open Wear OS by Google. All right, so let's head over into 
let's first use the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So just so you guys know, I will be using the Galaxy S10 Plus for probably half of the usage. The other half of the usage of this watch will also be on the Pixel 3a. So I will be using a Samsung device as well as a Google device. Play Store, let's find Wear OS. Setting up and connecting the watch has been super simple so far in this process. Because it is using Google's Wear OS, I was able to choose different Gmails to connect it to. Now I chose one of the Gmails that I use on my normal personal day-to-day -day basis, and now it's really just kind of finishing up all the last minute touches. So I am again super excited to use this watch. I will be disconnecting my Gear S3 for the next seven to 10 or 14 days, so I can give you guys the full review of everything I think of this watch. So as this finishes up the setup, the very last thing inside of the box is going to be the charging cradle. So right over here on the right hand side will be those magnetic connectors that once you place your watch onto there, it'll be able to snap into place and give this thing a charge. Now the hold of this was actually very good. It, it was not weak at all. And so this one I am again, you know, pretty excited to use. Probably the one thing I might be missing is gonna be the wireless charging that this watch is able to do. But the other things that I am super pumped about is the lightweight quality. Uh, that it's just going to sit on my wrist. It's not anywhere close to the weight of a Gear S3, you know, classic or Gear S3 uh, Frontier. So this will be super light. And I'm also excited for the 5 ATM, which is the uh, up to 50 meters underwater. So everything is done. It is now completing the setup. And so it looks as if there's a couple different areas that you can follow. So you can follow um, at Wear OS by Google uh, for anything else. Ooh, look at that. This. Now this looks clean. Did you guys see that? Let's see if I can go back. Okay, welcome to Wear OS, learn more. Swipe in each direction. So if I swipe going from the right to the left, looks like it's steps and calories. Uh, if I hit that button, let's see, swipe in another direction. If I swipe down, it looks like it'll be the settings. If I swipe it going this way, it looks like it's, um, looks like the dates. Um, I don't know. It also has my calendar that is mixed in there. So it's talking about my upcoming flight actually. And then swiping from the bottom, um, authorize uh, my boy apps, learn more about you. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So it looks like these are just um, notifications. And you can see here that I actually just uh, uh, turned off my other Gear S3. So it is now disconnected. So it looks as if if you were to swipe up, um, this will be your notifications. Uh, swipe down, it's gonna be all of your settings. Let's see, press the button for apps. So if you press the button, okay, so if I hit the button again, it goes back. Change the watch face, so touch and hold. Um, but I am actually a, a pretty big fan of that watch face. I like that white. Let's see, there's more I can get. There's a spotted one model. Okay, I'm just going to go with this one here. So I'm going to play with these just a little bit more. So I'm going to go through, you know, everything that this watch is able to do within the next, you know, week to two weeks. Uh, and so this right here, now this just looks clean. I don't know about you guys here. I mean, it's super white. The screen is white. That AMOLED display is just amazing. Um, I'm going to, ooh, is that what it looks like when it's timed out? Okay. Now I am pretty excited <laughs> about this. I'm kind of nerding out. Okay. So let's just put this thing right on back over here. Now, the other uh, application that it does talk about, you know, to download is also gonna be the Mobvoi application as well. So let's just go back and let's look for Mobvoi. Let's see, formerly TickWatch. So it used to be called TickWatch, but now they are called Mobvoi. Okay, sounds good to me. So let's see. I think this is just gonna give you a little bit more functionality of the watch. So probably going through some of the more settings, you know, very similar to what Samsung has with their Galaxy wearable application. So here's the tick watch. Let's see, application. So now this is just where you go through the setup. So I registered and went through the process. I put in my Gmail. I also put in a code that they sent in the Gmail and then my password. So this is going to be the main device screen. Uh, it says TickWatch S2, it is connected. It also has the battery life of 54%. It's showing me, showing me my steps, the exercise and the minutes and the active hours. Um, let's see, what else do we got? We can add routines. 
Uh, this looks like the store, so probably where I can get more watch faces maybe. Uh, maybe some more applications. Uh, looks like you can get 25% off for Father's Day for this watch. So you know what, you guys might as well just download this or go to their website. I'll probably place their link below the video. So in case if you guys wanted to do um, a Father's Day special, June 1st through the 16th, you can get 25% off your purchase of Tick Watch Pro and Tick Pods free. So it looks like there's uh, just kind of a lot going on right here. So that is the store of actually, um, of Tick Watch. So here's the S2 designed for outdoors, which is what we're talking about today. There's that white, you can also get black. Here's, uh, let's see, we got a few more here. Here's the E2, so if you're looking for one with a different, uh, a little bit different design. Uh, so this one right here has a longer button. It has the ridges for the minutes, uh, so 60, you know, and everything else. Uh, and this one does not actually have that for the E2. So I'm more of this type of a style. So again, thank you so much for uh, uh, Mobvoi for sending off the uh, Tick Watch S2 for me. Um, and then this is where I'd be able to do some FAQs, put in the Amazon Alexa, the Google Assistant, the firmware. So really this is just a, a pretty light, you know, application to help you with uh, this watch. Let's see, I wonder if there's a little bit more information inside of here. Permissions, I agree, agree. Um, heart, health data, my gender. So it looks like there's a little bit more. So definitely come on back, check back with my, uh, my other video coming out later. I will be using this for the next one to two weeks solely, completely getting rid of my Gear S3 from Samsung and then trying this thing out full gear, trying to see exactly how much I like this thing. But other than that, I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. I'll also place some links for this watch for their website and everything else below the video inside of the description. Again, this is very new to me. I will be uh, testing it out and giving the full review very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.